everybody, it's your friend Rigor Mortis back with a new video. I'm so glad so uh to be back. Um yeah, it's been a long time actually. Thank you very much for your guys' support on my Overwatch uh video and how to fix the crew video. Love the support. Guys, if you have uh, questions for me regarding this video, I'm gonna discuss a few points on Armor 3. Um just leave a comment in the section below. I'll try my best to get back to you guys and um help you i mean that's why i'm trying to make this videos to help you all um so yeah thank you very much for the support it basically let's start with this video i'm not going to do a long introduction um so your armor 3 um mods is not working right that's the question what do i do what do i look forward to trying to fix it or at least narrow down to give an idea what the fuck is going on with my game um so don't feel alarmed that it's illegal in any some some sorts. It's not really. I mean, it's dedicated servers, and the servers that you play on requires certain mods to enable to work properly, and so you can play in rules and parameters of this dedicated servers. Um, <coughs> and each server that you play on has different mods and has the de de dedicated different uh, when it comes to mods that's required to run that server and so on and so on. And um, I'm going to give you guys a, just a small tutorial. Um, I'm running a, a XL mod. So, but this same thing applies for all the other mods for Armor 3. So if you have a server that doesn't work and you can't seem to find why it crashes and tells you, but this file is not available, the mod is not working and so on, um, the error will usually kick you out of game when you're trying to join the game and tell you there's a file missing or the file corrupted or something like that. And that's similar regard okay so i'm gonna do step by step um so give you guys an idea of what's going on um first you're gonna open up steam uh i don't think my armor yeah my armor 3 is running so reopen up my armor 3. um because you want to have your armor 3 application open uh, but armor sometimes does it's such a buggy game uh just give you guys an idea i just mostly recently started with uh player unknown battlegrounds that's so cool game by the way it's much better than armor um well i'm hooked okay so let's quickly go open up armor 3. okay so there's my armor 3 right to give you an idea there is mods that's installed usually it shouldn't show anything yet um and if they show the mod or whatever, they yeah, we will work through that step by step. But at the at this stage, there shouldn't be any mods, or if there is mods, well, it's already installed and ready to go. Um, so <laughs> let's get back to the server. Um, this is the first point. This is the X point, and to understand what does the server require to run, and what mods you're gonna need um, for the server that you're trying to run. Mine, I'm trying to play on this XL server, which is a a PvE and a PvP server. It changes uh, some days according to the news bulletins and they give us this is a survival mode kind of game. Um, okay, so let's just backtrack to everything else. So you found a server with your buddies. The first thing that you need to do when you find a server that you want to join with mods and so on, you need to favorite that server so it falls underneath your server so you don't need to go and try and look for the server and you can't find it. Because usually the names are a bit uh, buggy when it comes to l look for it. Oh, it's a long day, that's why I'm yawning. Um, mm. So you favorite the server, so you can at least track it, make your life easier. Okay. Second part is you need to go and check what kind of um, mods you require. Usually it will tell you the mods are. Uh, already from your library or it's not installed it needs to be downloaded and such all right so just ignore that step if it if you also want to download the step okay from this area you do you do have to click on this one they set up mods and join click it let it does this download that um maybe take more than one to two gigs maybe it's 30 gigs or whatever the case might be just download let it the thing just do its magic all right when it's done i promise you fact this um, 
mod will not work. It will still kick you out of the game. Alright. Still will tell you this file's missing and so on. Don't be alarmed. This is just a preset. Start off by just first this download this step. Okay, just get it done. Alright, it's gonna form a ba a base for the ne for the next few steps to follow on to correct the file structures so the game can run. Alright. So basically we just have to close this and then um close your armor three. The next step that you need to do is go and download the A3 launcher. Okay, I'm gonna show you where you can find the A3 launcher. Um using the Google. The Google A3 launcher. Okay. Use the A3 launcher. You will find it here uh underneath A3 launcher download. And basically you just do the one of these items, you just download it and Install it. Get it done, son. When that is done, son, you have to open up the A3 launcher. It should be a shortcut or whatever on your desktop. Get the A3 launcher going. Uh, open up. Some elevator music would be nice. So from the A3 launcher, you can download a shit ton of lo um mods and it even tells you the ping oh, of the servers you're trying to uh, to join alright so the previous server that I said you need to favorite you most probably will find it on the A3 launcher and if you search for it in the bar it will find and if you click on it it will tell you what mods you need Okay. at the moment fuck that now um, see before I told you guys to, to download on that on the armor 3 launcher uh, the mods remember that yes i did oh if you didn't see that step please go back to that step you blummy me get it oh, just being uh, sorry just being snappy um just go back to the previous step download the uh, mods it should then pick up in the a3 launcher that it's among all of these all right so oh, what am I looking for, right? That's what you're gonna ask me. I'm gonna tell you now. Keep your pants on. Um, go to more details again. From here, it's, and it's gonna tell you what mods you need. You're gonna need an Excel mod. You're gonna have a you need an Austria, Australia mod, and an extended base mod, and so on and so on. So basically, just scroll down through all of these, and when it says not installed or it needs to be verified. Or even download. Uh, Excuse me. Just click the download button, do the installation, and it should be ready for the next step. Okay. From here on, the game will not run. Tell me what? Yes, the game will not run from here on. And then this same applies for all the other mods as well. If you if you have have similar problems. So you download it, you verify the files and so on. So now you need to go and look where the fuck did those files download to. So, I give you a general idea where these files usually go. It goes to documents. Not in documents, it should be in downloads. If it's not in downloads, it should be in C drive or wherever, but it should be in a download section where a game um, the files, well, wherever games download their files. Okay. The files name that you're looking for is Armor 3 mod or just mods. Okay, I don't have it right now, I can't show you any. Alright, just find that file, have it ready. Okay, when you double click on the file, it should show you at Excel or whatever the mod might be should show the mon mod's name, the file, okay, it should be intact, there shouldn't be anything floating about in that section, alright, um, just the file's name, I'll explain to you now, the second step from here on, you need to go and find where your Steam is down, um, installing the game or the apps to, in my case, I have mine preset already in E, in my games folder, the E drive, and I, always, I renamed mine to Steam, Steam in, uh, install point, so just to remind me I'm a dumb dumb. Okay, you go to Steam, go to Steam apps, you go to common, 
and after common you choose the game oh yeah we're we doing armor and this is how your armor should look minus the XL mod obviously I was installing the XL mod so you go back where you found uh, the downloaded mod called Exile or Daisy or whatever the fuck it might be um, you open up the file and you just click on the Daisy you drag it or the X at at Exile and you copy it in this area not in anything else just among these other files so they're just being friends yeah they're sitting next to each other they are among each other no xenophobia if you don't know what that word is just go look it up Okay, so you got that file, copy and paste it, right, next step. Trying to be a smart ass right now. You go back to your launcher. Right, boys? You did that. Good. Go to mods now. The reason why you need to go back now to this section mods is now you need to create a pathway for the mod to run. You actually recognize it's downloaded, it's installed, and it's ready to be used. Now you need to create a pathway. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. You go to local mods. You go to the file where your games are installed. You go to Steam or Steam Apps like I did. Steam Apps again. Oh, uh, come on. Yes, you are. And you go to Arma 3. When you're done with Arma 3, you open up and you see that your game was already copy and pasted. You select the mod file. In my case, the next file file. And you say select file. And it done and dusted. Your game, it should be loaded all mods, all everything that was required for that fucking mod to run on that server. And when you did, did that, it's ready to go. So then you go to servers. Remember you set that thing as a uh, favorite? Oh, you didn't. Well, then you should go and get it favorite then. Basically, after your favorite, you click join. And then you will enter the game and it should not show any error. If they say there's files missing and so on, um, then you need to go do a re-verification in Steam. And at that point, if the game doesn't work, well done, just... If disk, format the computer, throw it out a window, just give up on life. You know, go brush your tree, teeth, I don't know. At this point, I have absolutely no answers how to f <laughs> from there on how to fix it. But this is the steps what I did to fix my mod and so far it has been foolproof. Um, I gave it to a friend of mine which also had the same exact issue and I helped him and he was like man I'm a genius and I said well I should make a YouTube video about that, how about that? So here I am making a YouTube video, how about that? I hope you guys did like this video. Um, if you really want to support me, subscribe, thumbs up, and if you really don't like me at all, thumbs down, fuck it, I don't care anymore. Um, guys, thank you so much for the support, if you have any questions, leave a comment section below, I will try and reply, if I have any knowledge, well, at least I do some effort and read up, um, we'll go find a forum on Reddit and just send you the link, so you can maybe help yourself, me helping you to help yourself. Bad English to me. <laughs> Love gibberish. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna sign off now. And always to remember with, to game with a smile on your face. Your friend Rigamortis signing off with another video. Cheers, guys.